Hello, you sexy nerds. I am Wildfire One. You are listening and watching Nerds New Sexy, the podcast. This is episode 111 of the month of movies. Uh, we're running a little late this month. Uh, with me today, of course, is Monster. Good old Monsters with us. And um, our second movie, as you haven't told, if you can't tell by the sides here, is uh, Final Fantasy Advent Children. We watched it. And you know, I, I, it was one of those movies I had sitting around for a while, and so I was like, and I'd watched it before, and I liked it. I thought it was a really good movie. Um, it's actually my first time. Yeah, he watched it his first time. But did you? What did you think of the Final Fantasy VII franchise when you first played it? Oh, I loved it, but I was a, like, I was a child. I was a kid, so not like I got it. But you had that nostalgia for it. Oh yeah. Right? So Final Fantasy VII would you you look back on it and you're like okay yeah. so what this movie watching the movie do you think it lived up to the hype from the Final Fantasy mm. your nostalgia? No, they could have had a little bit more stuff. I mean, like they only summoned Bahamut. They could have summoned maybe Leviathan or, or a bunch of other different yeah. summons. I mean, that would have been nice. But uh, that's towards the end of the movie. We mm-hmm. it starts out uh, basically the movie's two years past the events of Final Fantasy VII. Um, Cloud's still kind of a whiny bitch. <laughs> I don't suffering from an illness. Suffering from, uh, yeah, we find out geostigma. I'm yeah. glad you mentioned that. Because that seems to be the thing now. Uh, that's basically the corruption that Sephiroth mm-hmm. brought in the from live stream. Geneva. Yeah, from Genova. Genova. Brought into the live stream, like, infecting people, I, if, I, if I remember correctly. And, um, I mean, it, it's it's interesting. Even Cloud's infected. So, you know, you, at this point, he's a delivery boy. He's working for, <laughs> you know, whatever. And at the beginning of the movie, you get, he gets called Rufus Shinra. And Rufus is, you know, covered in uh, need Geo Stigma, too. He's all covered in this white robe, almost. You get to meet these three bad guys. I can't remember their names, but they're... Sephiroth wannabes? Se- Sephiroth wanna- wannabe the one, two, and three. But uh, they're 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 kind of cool. Like they got each got different weapons. One's got this really badass like fist thing mm-hmm. that um, shocks people. That shocks or, people or, or makes them go faster. I'm not even 100 percent sure what mm-hmm. his powers were. Like like it it, it differed a little. There's a, a fight scene between uh, him and Tifa that was pretty fucking badass. Yes, though. that was actually one of the best yeah. parts of the movie. So, and then there's another guy with like these little. They look like dagger guns. Yeah, that's a good way to explain them. Good, yeah, dag- dagger guns. Mm-hmm. I think one thing I'll give Square Enix, you know, and the, or SquareSoft back in the day, I'll give this to them. They're like out there when it comes to weapons. They just yeah. think of shit. They're like, I'm gonna make a light bulb bullet. <laughs> Cloud gets more or less summoned by Rufus Shinra. They get together. They talk. And he wants him to do something. It's it's kind of unclear at that point what he wants him to do. I don't know. Honestly. Something like. Uh, but anyway, the movie goes along, and the movie's kind of confusing. Like you see, you see some, and it might just be me. It's been forever since I played Final Fantasy VII, but you do see some parts like in the movie that are familiar, very familiar from the game, like um, like Midgar. that. Midgar. Well, you see what's left of Midgar. Yeah. Because Midgar's been destroyed thanks to Meteor from the Final Fantasy VII. Um, you get to see the chapel, the old broken down chapel mm-hmm. that you first meet Aerith or Eris. That's kind of cool, you know. And that actually where that first battle, that first yeah. fight starts with a Tifa and a, a dude with a with a, the Drakoff hand mm-hmm. contraption <laughs> thing. So, and that, you know, the really badass fight we were talking about. So it's going to be difficult to completely explain this movie because I can't even, and I don't think I understood all of it. Like, mm-hmm. I'm sure that there's explanations out there. You know, this, is what I, this is what we'll go to right now, the graphics. Do the graphics live up to, like, 2005? Fuck yes. Yes. Do oh, they yeah. live up to today? Yeah, maybe, sort of. Maybe on a beat. They're, they're not bad. Yeah. Yeah, they're not bad, but we did hear a lot of mother, a lot especially of especially from the Sephiroth, Seth the Sephiroth, Roth wannabes, the Sephiroth trio. Well, they're basically yeah. recruiting these people that have mm-hmm. 
geostigma. It it did it does and again I'm I'm bouncing around. It lived up. Good it did. Love. My big issue is the lip syncing. You could tell they didn't fucking care back then. Like well, I think school. it was originally in Japanese. No? Well, it was, but it was this was more like old school Godzilla. And I like think that. it was I think it was some of the same characters they got to play um, from the other games that they made. You know, yeah. like uh, um, I think Steve Bloom played uh, Vincent Vincent Valentine. And he did a really good job. You even said he sounded like someone yesterday. And I wanted to tell you, I just I wanted you to get it. But I yeah. didn't. But um, by the way, Steve Bloom played. Uh, know that you've you've heard of Cowboy Bebop? Yeah, Spike. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the guy who played. It's been a long time since. Yeah, that that's that's the same voice actor that played. That, that he play, also played that same character in the video game uh, Dirge of Severus. Okay. Which is a badass game, in my opinion. I've but, never played it. Well, that you know. Final Fantasy VII had to come out with multiple parts mm. to explain the shit that, like, it didn't explain in the game. Hence, Dirge of Severus, you know, and, and of course, of course, Advent Children and um, Crisis Core and all these other all these other games. That Crisis Core was part of it? That was, yeah, that was Zach's story. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, that's why you were like yesterday, you are like, who the fuck is that blocker dude? <laughs> I'm like that's Zach, man. Come on. But Plus, I haven't played the game in well, God knows how yeah, long. Yeah, neither have I. I'm actually thinking about doing a playthrough of it. But the game, I mean, the fi Final Fantasy VII, the remake's coming out, mm. so we're really excited about that. Oh yeah, it's one of the reasons we wanted to watch play. this. Uh, so the Geo Stigma, the these the Sephiroth trio, more or less, go out and try and recruit or recruit children. these these children, these Advent children, if you will. They, they go out and recruit these children with a stigma, and they they basically take them to like the, the area where where, Sef, where, where Sephiroth killed uh, Eris in the first mm. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I want to say that the temple, Lost City, the Lost something. City, yes. So they're he, they took them there, and they're making them drink this water, and the guy jump, like walks in the water, and darkness comes out of nowhere. I'm like, mm. yeah, I'm gonna drink that water. That's coffee. <laughs> so. So they do that, and uh, they all drink the water, and, and then just kind of like their eyes get all fucking catty, dragon like dragony. Yeah. Well, I guess it's supposed to be like Sephiroth's eyes, and I mean, I don't know. I know, and it's funny because how is that supposed to help anything? Like, did it ever explain what the plan was? No. Like, it just made them like get under their control where they told them what yeah. to do, or. I, and maybe that maybe because they used them to block them off while you know right. when they summoned Bahamut. You know, they had to get Genova's head. Which they find. You know, there's this badass, like, fight sequence where you get to see, you know, all of all of the other characters come in. You know, and that's the thing. Like, you get these little little moments where, like, he goes into these daydreams, right? Mm -hmm. Where he's like, where he sees Eris, and she's like, Don't feel bad. It's I okay. You. Yeah, I forgive you. You know? You know, it, like, you don't have to be alone. <laughs> and he's just, you know, he's like, I'm too cold for people. I don't need that. And he's got that that bike with like thousands of swords in it, right? Yeah, where like, does those swords come from? It's all the swords he collected from Final Fantasy VII, I guess. If I remember correctly, I have to I have to think. We watched it last night, and then we got so tired we had to stop. They, they towards the end they fight Bahamut they fight while the uh, the Sethroth wannabes uh, go and try go to the guy on the wheelchair. Oh, that's yeah. right, uh, Rufus. Yeah. And then, then he like gets up with, with like a package in his hand. And that happens to be yeah. The whole time he has uh, Genova's head. Yeah. Mother. 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 Well, you know, I, 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 the, the story of this, this, the story in this was so everywhere. Honestly, it could have been really bad translation. They're fighting Bahamut. As they're fighting, as they're fighting him, there's a scene where like all of them kind of come together. You know what I'm talking about. And I was, I look at this guy and I go, gravity doesn't work that way. Like, oh yeah, they're throwing him. <laughs> yeah, they're like, like one of them, they're grabbing him, jumping in air and they're throwing him, like grabbing his hands and throwing him up and like giving him boosts because Bahamut's like going way the fuck in the air. And so they're doing this thing where they, where he can reach them. And finally, like Bahamut shoots this big ass blast, like like a mega flare or something. Something. Right and uh, here comes a um, cloud going right through it. And then you see you see Aerith, like she's like you hear the music, hee hee. <laughs> you know her hand comes out. He he! She grabs him and like you can do it. She's like the cheerleader <laughs> of this whole fucking show. Like, 
the whole show, the whole, whole Final Fantasy Added Children, she's the cheerleader. She gives him a boost. He goes up there and basically kicks the shit out of Bahamut. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, you killed the summon. And then it, I, out of nowhere, like like you said, they, they're doing this thing with uh, with Rufus, where Rufus has got the got the box. Rufus goes, "I got the box. This is this is fucking this is this is Genova." And yeah. of course, they're like that. You know, the the main Sephiroth twin is like, "That's my mommy. Give me my starts mommy." Starts crying. He starts crying, being a little wuss, and he so he throws Rufus throws the the box off this big ass building. And so they jump off the building. He jumps off the building. Well, Cloud, Cloud's on the bottom because Cloud out of nowhere is on a fucking motorcycle yeah. after that battle. Like, I don't know how that happened. I think it's... Have seen it all the way? Yeah. So Rufus is shooting with this really cool looking gun and hits the Genova head and like a little green blood comes out. And so he gets it and they there's another... Right, there's a, it's basically a chase scene where Cloud's chasing to try... We're trying to get this thing and it goes into... What appears to be either the the what's left over of the the Shinra building, or, or the, they dropped the the plate on the slums, and it lo that's what it looks like they end up. And somehow, I guess uh, Reno and Rude block off the other two, like they make a bomb or something, and they're like oh, it's going to be very flashy. And oh yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. And they so the other two can't ke uh, catch up or keep up with. Uh, Cloud and, and, and the main Sephiroth twin. So they fight a little bit and the fight kind of goes into where that Eris um, that church mm -hmm. and water just bubbles up out of nowhere like fucking oil and just splatters all over Cloud and his stigma goes poof! poof! It's gone. So and that's where the fight gets interesting. Like they start fighting hardcore. Then uh, the main Sephiroth twin decides it's time to hug mommy's head. And I guess he takes it into his body and, uh, yeah, becomes Sephiroth. Like, he morphs into Sephiroth. Somehow. Somehow. And got his memories? I got, don't know like, became it. Sephiroth. Just became, yeah. poof, Sephiroth. So there's this really badass fight between Cloud and Sephiroth, which ends, of course, again, with Cloud doing Omni Slash, it appears, and uh, basically takes him out that way. And then a, the guy, ba the the, Sef the Sephiroth basically becomes the Sephiroth twin again. And where the Sephiroth twin is like hearing Eris' voice and going, oh, yeah. Mom? Mother? <laughs> and he becomes one with the live stream. What would you give it? Out of what? Oh, one out of ten. Uh, I'd give it about an eight because of the nostalgia. It was good, but it wasn't like... I bet you if we would have watched it back then, we would have been like, oh, oh I saw this it. is amazing. I saw it back then, and it brought me nostalgia. But, you know, that's probably why... It probably wasn't eight then for me. But the thing is, is it's it hasn't aged well. Like, yeah. And that's the problem with animated movies is, you know, we can make a movie now and watch it 20 years later, or 10 years later, 10 plus years in this case, and it's going to... it. You're just going to go, oh, you know, and the graphics... I'm not even a big fan of the graphics, the story. Like, I saw yeah. so much plot problems and so like again where do these kids come in here or like other than just being roadblocks so i don't know i'd yeah i'd give it a, right now okay i'm gonna be nice i'll give it a seven because there's that nostalgia is there <laughs> the nostalgia is there but it's not like you know i'm excited for the final fantasy remake yes i think maybe i'll watch it again after the final fantasy i think uh that's good that's a short this will be a short review for this movie. It was a, it was good. Uh, I'd it was say so it was out of there. It was forth. just, it was out. It was just out. Uh, Final Fantasy VII: Advent Children, worth watching. Go check it out. Uh, not the best movie, not the worst movie, but it's a good movie to review and watch for nostalgia. And it's nice to hear your favorite characters have a voice. Yes, instead of having to read everything. Yes, yeah. you, you know we're spoiled now. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, once again, thanks for watching. This is, gonna, like I said, a shorter podcast. We'll see you next week. As always, remember to stay nerdy, stay sexy, always. always.